What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to be comparing two classic albums from the New York City band TV on the radio, Return to Cookie Mountain and Dear Science. Let's go. Kicking us off, we have I Was a Lover versus Halfway Home. Probably going to be the most difficult decision to make because both of these songs are incredible. I Was a Lover gives me this Victorian era royalty aristocratic vibe, especially with Kip Malone's lyrics. This song manages to sound sophisticated and grungy at the exact same time. I love the massive attack sample, but I gotta give a slight edge to Halfway Home mainly because this song explodes. Incredible way to open up a record. The guitars sound like the sun rising, the way the chorus kicks in. Although I Was A Lover is one of my favorite TV on the radio songs, period. Halfway Home is the slight edge. Next up, we have Hours versus Crying. These songs are polar opposites of each other. Like, Hours sounds like you're traveling down a long, dark road into the abyss, reaching daylight during the break in the song. But I'm gonna give the slight edge to Crying on this one. It's funky. It sounds like you're on the beach. You know, when I hear this track, I feel like I just walked on the beach with a drink in my hand. Everything is good. You know, the girls are everywhere, and I just want to just kick it. Next up, we have Province and Dancing Trues, and man, Dancing Shoes, man, what a track. You know, Tundi Adabimpe is just ranting and ranting and just, you know, you know, flow of information that is going on in this song. I do like Province. It's a nice, beautiful song. But, man, it's very difficult to put that over Dancing Shoes, man. That song has stuck with me for tons of years. I find myself still going back to it to this day. It's pretty incredible. Next up, we have Playhouses versus Stork and Owl. And, oh, my God, Playhouses has to be top three TV on the radio songs for me. It's energetic, distorted. I love the lyrics that Kip Malone is spitting on this one. You know, false love of uh, on a drunken night. Two lovers realizing through their drunkenness that maybe you're not the one. And that's, and that's, a, that's crazy. Stork and Owl is a great song as well, but there is no comparison in this one. Playhouse's bodies this song, so I got to give that one the edge. Next up, we have Wolf Like Me and Golden Age. Both of these are amazing tracks, some of my TV on the radio favorites. But it's going to be a no-brainer, guys. Wolf Like Me is going to steal the show, hands down. Like, this is a this is a second-round knockout. Like, this is the song that put myself and a lot of other people on this band. It's catchy. It's upbeat. I love the lyrics. I love how the werewolf theme is used as a sex metaphor. Very clever lyricism. TV on the radio does this a lot. There's a lot of their songs that are just a duality when it comes down to sex. That, you know, so Wolf Like Me, classic single, classic song. This put the band over the edge. That's when they just really started to take off for me. Next up, we have A Method versus Family Tree. And oh my God, man. Family Tree is one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard this band produce. Like, I can just sit there, euphoric, and just vent, man. Like, I, I, uh, like this song reminds me of someone just sitting in the dark in their elder age, you know, watching projector footage of their life passing by. That could be a wedding. It could be childhood. It's very serene, very beautiful. It's angelic. It just sounds incredible. Next up, we got Let the Devil In versus Red Dress. Now, Let the Devil In is probably my least favorite song on Return to Cookie Mountain. I just never connected to it. So Red Dress is going to get this one for me. Red Dress is funky. It's upbeat. Kip Malone kills the show. So Red Dress is going to take this one. Next up, we got Dirty World versus Love Dog. Oh, another tough choice, but Dirty World is going to take this one for me. I really love the energy on it. Love the lyrics, the groove. Really awesome track and worthy to take this slot. All right, next up, we got Blues from Down Here versus Shout Me Out. Blues from Down Here, hands down, is probably one of my top three songs on Return to Cookie Mountain, so I'm going to give this one the win. I look at this song like the lyricism, man. It's, it's like it's either telling one story or it's telling three different stories. You know, someone being saved from drowning. I'm hearing someone being baptized. Uh, how that all ties together. Love their concepts. They always had great concepts when they made records. Blues from down here is one of their highlights. So it's going to take the edge over Shout Me Out. Uh, although I think both of these songs are awesome. Blues from down here is just on a completely different level. Next up, we got Tonight versus DLZ. And it is a no-brainer on this one. DLZ is going to steal the show. Now, a lot of people first heard this song on an episode of Breaking Bad. I was a little ahead of the game. But man, I'm so glad they got that placement on that show. It helped expand the band's fan base. And it's just an incredible, incredible track. I may be completely off base, but I get the feeling of warfare, you know, Agent Orange, bombings, things of that nature. So this is an awesome track. As far as Dear Science is concerned, this is at least top two. Closing both of these albums, we have Wash the Day and Lover's Day. I'm going to give the win to Wash the Day. I love this song. I love how those drums come in at the very beginning. The lyricism, the imagery in the lyricism in this song has stuck with me for so many years. 
I continuously go back to this track. You know, I can't tell if either we're watching a rocket shoot up in the space or if we're watching a plane crash. I can't say enough about Watch the Day on how it sits with me personally, but it's definitely gonna take the win here. All right, so at the end of the day, we have Return to Cookie Mountain with a number of five tracks that steal the show. And we got Dear Science with a number of six songs that sealed the show. So the winner is going to go to Dear Science. That being said, both of these are some of my highlighted albums. I'm not taking anything away from Return to Cookie Mountain. On a straight through listen, Return to Cookie Mountain is the better album for me. But just comparing track by track based on the numbers, Dear Science is going to win this one. I really hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.